envelope ready, because we're going to come around a little bit later on this morning and pick these up. But the communication card is a couple of things. First off, it's a record of your attendance here this morning. But it's also a way for you to communicate with the church the things that are going on in your life, because we are a church that has committed to pray for one another. And so uh, we pray with and for one another. And so you can put your prayer requests right down here on the bottom of the communication card. Please put down those praises, too, because we want to rejoice with you when God answers prayer. Uh, so you can put that there. If you have any questions about any of our ministries, uh, if you want to sign up for our next Connection 101 class, you can do that right back here on the back of that form. Now is also an excellent time to get your offering ready to go. We do give to the Lord's work every week here at Valley, and we do so as an act of worship, a way that we honor God with our finances as well as our time and our talent. And so, again, that's going to be a little bit later on in this morning's service. But right now, we have something very special planned for this morning. Uh, so, Pastor Mike, Pastor Kim, and the Moore family. Morning. Okay, so this morning we are going to do a baby dedication. And so what we would like is for everybody that's connected with a more baby dedication, all the parents and the uh, in-laws, outlaws, and all that stuff <laughs> to come stand over here. And Gina and Travis, we want you guys to come on up here on the on the stage. <coughs> the cool thing about baby dedication is, you know what, it's it's just saying that they want to commit to serving the Lord and training up these children in the way they should go. And so that's what we're doing this morning. <laughs> and this is what I do really good. So if I don't say hello by your name, it's because I've already forgotten your name. But <laughs> I know this is Gina Stravis, okay. and that's Grace. Okay. And all of a sudden, I can't remember his name for the life of me. <laughs> Russell. <laughs> I know, it's all that staring, so everybody turn your heads the other way. <laughs> so, what we want to do right now is um, I want to ask you guys a couple of questions, and we'll do this quick because I can see where this is going. So. <laughs> um, I'm going to ask you a couple of things, and then you guys can say yes, and then I'm going to say the same, some different things to you, and then for the congregation, we're going to make, all of us are making vows to these children. So, do you commit yourselves as parents to raising your child in a godly way? And do you acknowledge the fact that God has a special plan for you and your children? Do you further commit yourselves to being godly parents, not perfect parents, that you will seek God's wisdom in those times of need? Um, do, you, do you promise to seek the encouragement of family and congregation when those times are needed? <laughs> like now. <laughs> All right. Well, so for the family, my my question for you guys is: Do you, as as parents and grandparents, do you promise to be the source of encouragement, strength, and acknowledge that God has blessed you with the privilege of being a part of this family? We do. Wow. That's so many. <laughs> and do you further commit to providing godly counsel when asked? And to be a witness of God's goodness to these children. Yeah. And for us, do we promise to teach, preach God's word, and to be encouraging source to this family when they need it? We do. Amen. All right. You know, we're going to have a time where we get to pray for the Moore family, and we get to lift them up. And I'm going to ask God to lift us up too, because that's a big responsibility that you just undertook. So, will you join me in prayer? Father, in Jesus' name, we come and we thank you for Gina and Travis for, uh, for their influence in the life of this church over the years. But, Father, for uh, Grace. Oh, we are so excited that she's here. Father, we ask your blessing on her, uh, that her life might be like her middle name, an aria to you. And Father, I ask that you prepare in her amazing works of service for her to do. We ask that you uh, allow her to fall in love with you right now uh, and, and for the rest of her life. Father, I thank you that she's got an amazing family behind her, so many of, of whom we know and love so well here at this church. And Father, we ask your blessing on them as they continue to serve and, and seek ways to help uh, raise grace, and obviously Russell as well, in ways that uh, they will follow you. Father, for us as a church family, we ask your guidance to help us to help uh, the Moors raise their children in, in powerful ways. For Grace today, uh, our commitment to her, uh, to help her as she grows and becomes a follower of Jesus. Lord, we ask you these things because we know that you're listening and you love us and you care for us so much. 
We love you. We thank you for this beautiful life. In Jesus' name. And God's people said, Amen. Amen. Well, before we go, you clap for that. We're going to pray for you. Travis uh, had an accident yesterday uh, with a Capri Sun bottle uh, straw <laughs> across his eye. And he's in a lot of pain right now. So I'm going to ask you to extend your right hand. Really hands on your brother. Father, in Jesus' name, we come. And Lord, I know it's been a tough day already today. It's been a tough night. No sleep. Emergency room. Father, I pray right now that you would strengthen our brother. Father, begin to heal and knit together his eye right now in Jesus' name. We ask you for this because you, we know that you are our God who heals. And we ask you for your tender touch. Father, I pray for, for less in pain right now in Jesus' name. I, I pray that you lift up our brother. Heal him in Jesus' name. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. Thanks. Hey, we have a gift. <laughs> this is from the ladies' group. The ladies at church. Oh, how cool is this? Oh, yeah. Children's ministry and just, you know, something to, to share with her as she's growing up. So, cool. Will you give a hand this morning? Woo! I mean, one of the things that we uh, know, because we know Gina and Travis, we know that their kids are going to grow up worshiping the Lord. So we're going to be examples of that right now as we go before the Lord and let's stand and continue our time of worship. Thank you so much.